Good morning, journeyers, afternoon, whatever. We are in New Orleans, Louisiana. Nola. And we saw this really awesome mural and we wanted to show it to you guys. Ooh. Greetings from Nola. Or as some people refer to as the Big Easy. Which I did not know until I did research on this bus. So welcome to the Big Easy. It makes me think of a speed. For the next couple of days, we're going to show you around this awesome town full of culture, uh, different, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> different so countries nice. represented. We're going to eat at some of the best places and we're going to visit some of the top things to do. So let's go have some fun. Woo! It's lunchtime and you want some delicious eats. It's time to head to Kushan Butchery. place built in 1883 and it is considered a national historic place so I don't believe it can be demolished and it sits right on the historic St. Charles Street. Check it out. Scout cookie yeah. in a donut. And then I asked the girl what her favorite was, and she said this, which is the fluffer nutter. It's peanut butter with marshmallow and peanuts. It sounds delicious. Dig in. It was raining, so we decided to go into a restaurant, and it was really good. It was a little sweet place, like a donut spot, and now we're exploring the Garden District on yeah. our first day, yeah. and no. luckily it, it kind of stopped raining. So yeah, let's go explore Garden District. So we were in the Garden District, and we decided to come over to the, the Lafayette Cemetery, which is one of the most popular cemeteries in New Orleans. Don't quote me, I think this is pretty much what Kelsey and I uh, have discovered is that because it's so swampy, um, they bury a lot of people above ground because it's not traditional, uh, you know, it's not traditional type of terrain like other cities. So a lot of the cemeteries, they actually build the cemeteries above ground, as you can see. Um, and so you get these just beautiful marble slabs uh, and you know obviously it's it's a cemetery so you have to be respectful uh, but they're very very touristy so a lot of people show up to them because they're just so elaborate and and large and just not what we're used to so we're gonna explore the cemetery a little bit 
I know this sounds terrible, but this is the type of place I would love to play some hide and seek and just scare Kelsey. So let's see if we can scare her. Kelsey is currently calling my name. She has no idea where I, where I am and I have no idea where she is. So I'm literally trying to find her so I can scare her. I feel like this is gonna fail miserably, but. Did I get you? Not really. You're lying. Did I get you? Did you see me jump? You, you jumped. Do I need to look at the camera? Well, that was a big whopping fail, but I tried. Did you hear me calling you, though? Yeah, I did, because I, I just said before that, I was like, hey, this is a great place to play hide and seek. I kind of want to scare Kelsey. <laughs> it's creepy. It is definitely creepy. It's like, I want to scare Kelsey. Let's see if we can scare her, because I lost you. But it didn't work that well. It seems fitting that it's raining on us while it's cemetery. It's already kind of eerie. A uh, little tip, it is open till about three o'clock. I think it opens at like nine. So they'll just come around and start hollering at you to get out. Entrance is on the side of the street where Commander's Palace is. We drove around the whole thing. The whole thing, couldn't get it. So just know, on the Commander's Palace side. food from Dat Dog and Kelsey and I got the crawfish etouffee dog, crawfish hot dog with crawfish etouffee, some tomatoes, onions, mustard, and some sour cream. And then we got their bacon, cheese, and ranch french fries. It's time to dig in. They are so good. <laughs> no, but really, they are really good fries. Man. When you come here, make sure you get the bacon, cheese, ranch fries. I have a place in Dallas that we consider some of the best cheese fries ever. So we're kind of like bacon cheese fries connoisseurs. And um, these are right up there. It's six o'clock. Been exploring. Nylons, the big easy all day. No. We decided to come check into our hotel. Look at this place, guys. Fresh. Huh? Let's stay here two nights. Yeah, so we're trying to see if they'll let us extend. We're supposed to be here another day, but they only had it for one night. But this is a nice bed. Nice little king size. Yes. So we're gonna relax a little bit. We've been doing stuff since this morning. And we're a little little beat from driving around all over New Orleans. So I need a little break. Do you want this thing Break? Break. Break. Do you want this thing we'll see you in a minute. So I woke up a little later than I, <laughs> I had planned on. It's like 9.15 and uh, we decided to just, we're going to stay in for the hotel for the night. But I offered to Kelsey that I was going to go get her some food. So I'm very excited. I'm taking, I'm going to get uh, food from Parkhouse Tavern. And it's one of the, it's supposed to be one of the best po' boys in New Orleans now. Always that's debatable because everybody has their favorite spot, but this is one that I'm really excited to try. I think it's gonna be really good. So I'm on an adventure to get food for the night and then we're just gonna chill in the hotel room.
Yeah, you know it's a good sign when they have as much parking as they do. It's not very busy, but it's pretty dreary tonight. And this is, I think it's usually a lunch spot, but look at this. That is all parking. Guarantee this place gets filled. So it's open until 10, and I'm like 90% sure they do takeout orders, so. That's the route I'm going. So the mission for Poe Boys has almost fully commenced. Let's get some grub. Alrighty, I have secured the package. Heading back to the hotel to have a happy wife. I think that's gonna conclude the episode for today. So, we had a blast showing you around the Guard District. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other videos we have coming. And if you wanna know how good that food was, you're gonna have to wait until the next vlog, so stay tuned. We'll see you.